How I play really depends on the players at my table, as well as my stack size and the payouts. Because depending on if there's a big pay jump and my stack is pretty short, I might have to really be cautious and try and advance up the pay ladder. But when you have a big stack, you can just put a lot of pressure mm -hmm. and win a lot of pots. So I'll bully the table. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you get to be the table bully, which is always fun. Yes, yes, yes. I think most poker players would like to be a bully yeah. at the table if you can, you know. When you get the chance, it's yes, always it nice. Yes, it also yeah. gives you so much advantage mm -hmm. over other players. And sometimes, too, it gets to a point in the tournament where the table knows you're being a bully and just getting away with murder, but they can't do anything yes, because yes, the yes. payouts are in such a way. Yes. So it's always fun. Yeah, I guess it depends versus different opponents and different player styles. For some people, I do want to switch it up every now and then and zig where they think I'm going to zag. Um, but then versus other players, I like to just try and stay as balanced as I can and try to not let them be able to exploit anything I'm doing to the best I think I'll be able to do. Um, what's your secret, Paul? Oh, my secret <laughs> keep working hard. You know, even when you are successful, you work hard to improve your game. You know, there's so much, you can never stop learning in poker, you know. It's just... Yeah, you can never be complacent. Yeah, I think that's the key, you know. S spend hours, put in more hours into your game, then you, you will see the results, you know. I think that's true. Yes. <laughs> I think this, for the cash games, in the coming months or even years, I think the short deck will get more popular. Because the short deck game makes the luck factor more. Even beginners, businessmen, they can win more often in this style of game. So it keeps them interested in coming back. Right. Is the game more action than normal? Yes, definitely a lot of action. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, people call more, whereas there's less three bad, four bad type of thing. You know? Right. Yes. Because you have a corrector, you want to see the flaw. I guess it's really when, you, like Paul touched on, where you always have to be working hard and yes, never just yes. being, I'm good, I don't need to work hard anymore, I don't need to keep yeah. learning. So I think weaknesses come from when you're, you're just not, work, not improving your game and yes. thinking your game is fine, when you always have to be keeping up with the curve. The game's always evolving and you have to stay with it. You have to stay learning, stay hungry. And if you don't do that, then your game does have weak spots. Yes, and I think to be able to know what your weaknesses are first and foremost, you know, to admit that you have a weakness mm. is quite critical. Then you go on from there, you work on it, you know, try to eliminate that aspect of your game. I think too, a big part is having friends that are very good players yes. and even better than you to where you're, tell you're telling them a hand or why you did something, then they can be critical of it and say, no, I wouldn't do that, I don't like your play. Then you can think, hmm, maybe you're right, and then work on that. So it's important to talk poker with other yes. good players. Yes, yes, yes. And then if you have doubt, you can ask for a second opinion, you know? Right. <laughs>